the calorimetry lab, when it's time to plot your data and get a linear fit, we're going to be using Microsoft Excel. The first step is to plot all of your data, time in one column and temperature in, in the next. In order to make a scatter plot of this data, select those two columns, move to the, your insert bar, and hit scatter plot and choose the first option. Then up here in all of your chart layouts, you can pick the first one and that will insert chart title and axis titles for you. This is the shape of a general uh, calorimetry uh, data set. As you can see, there's a sharp increase as the temperature rises, it hits a plateau, and then there is a nice linear descent along this direction. If you try to make a linear fit of this data by right clicking on the data set and hitting add trend line, you can see that it doesn't look particularly linear at all. This is because you're using all of the data and not just that nice descending linear line. So in order to get a proper trend line, we're gonna to have to make two data sets. So the first step is gonna to be to select the data, right click and click on your option that says select data. Over here, you wanna add a new series and then you're gonna select the X values at the time at which the maximum temperature that was reached, so here it was at a time of three minutes, select from that point forward, and then the Y values from the maximum temperature to the end. Once that's done, you can now see that we have two different data sets, one of that sharp increase and another of that nice linear data set. After you've clicked away in order to unselect all of the data, select just the red dots, which is that nice linear fit, right click again and press add trend line. Now uh, once linear is selected, which is the automatic selection, you want to hit display equation on chart and display R squared value on chart in order to get all of your information. You can move it to the side and now you can see that that is a nice linear line with a very good R squared value. If you want the linear fit to extend all the way back to the Y axis, Click on your linear trend line. You can tell it's selected by these two circles, one on either end. Right click, oops, I've missed it, and hit format trend line. Back on this trend line options sheet, there's a little uh, forecast box, and one of the options is backwards. If you select a value for probably around three will work, it should extend backwards back to the Y value. When it's time to fill in your chart and axis titles, you get to choose them, but you want it at the end to be looking something like this.